Eagles. It's funny, in, in Melee, you know, the, the super top players, I kind of think that they transcend region. You know, when you think about cheering for SoCal, like, yes, you're cheering for Mango, who is also a SoCal native, but I think that at a certain point, you know, the top, top players, they take on their own kind of... Their own personas, yeah. yeah. No, I totally agree with that. Although, you know, there is always, like, the USA-Sweden dynamic, you know, when it comes to, like, Yes, Mango that's Armada definitely true. Like yeah, that. country is definitely still something to think yeah. about. Yeah. All right, get bumper tree for SFAT. Oh, great air dodge from, uh, from yeah. Lucky. Lucky's going to be the, the Red Fox. And CLG SFAT, um, probably pretty easy to pick up because the CLG tag is the Fox. And as, I mean, I think both players are taking the game very, very seriously. You know, Bailey's been around for a really long time. These guys have both been very, very strong players for quite a while. Yep. Uh, and there are streaks, I think, where, where each player, you know, they decide they're really going to go for it. They're going to try to, you know, break into that upper echelon. Yeah. It's so, so, so difficult. And, you know, I think both both of these players have been really close. I think SBAT is, like, you know, definitely in the discussion right now. So yeah. if I had to say who has more of a – who this win would mean more for, I guess, it, in terms of the discussion, it would be SBAT. I agree with that. But Lucky definitely on the come up. He's been going to lots of tournaments. Yeah, for sure. With SFAT, it's like he he's solidly oh. top 10, I think, where Lucky, like, you know, it's hard to put Lucky quite in that same tier. Right. But, again, you know, the head When he head plays here. well, it's obvious that, like, he's there. But you know what? That's actually true for so many of our, you know, top players who aren't the top five. Just on the cusp. Yeah. When they're playing well, they just look like absolute monsters, like they could beat anyone, but for sure. Right. S Fat with Uptro back here. He's gonna take the first stop off Lucky, but Lucky still has a pretty solid lead here. Lucky just doing a really good job, not getting hit. Playing a very bait heavy style. He's doing a lot of like little retreating aerials. Um, and so far, taking his combo game a little further than S Fat is. The Fox Ditto, uh, it always comes down to like, in my opinion, basically yeah. you, you get the opening, whether it's a grab or an aerial. And then you combo them for a little on the ground, and then once they're on the platforms, that's when you really have to get a little bit creative. Like you, you want to like either get a read there, or you want to bait them into you know one position and then hit the other tech chase. Or oh. and Lucky doing a little bit better job at that right now. S Fat trying to wall him out, but pressure misses his L cancel. So that's not a good one. Yeah, and definitely don't think that he was going for a tournament winner on that edge guard. So yeah, a little bit of uh, you know movement movement errors from S Fat right now. It's a little bit less, a little shakier. Yeah, for sure. He right did now. just lose a pretty heartbreaking set against Hungrybox. Uh, you know, usually that kind of thing can stick in someone's head. For sure. Whereas Lucky's coming here off a win. I would say uh, yeah, exactly. not, not an upset on Prince Abu, but I would say perhaps an upset on Mizro, who he didn't beat the round before that. Yeah. Lucky actually with a pretty good bracket for himself, all considered. He beat SJ the round before that, I think. He's, he really likes his spacey matchups and his Falcon matchups. Yeah. And that's basically all he fought, you know, uh, outside of Prince Abu. And so, yeah, Lucky, you know, if he keeps this up, he's going to be coasting in a fifth place here over s -Fan. Oh! Oh, s -Fan! He just deleted that stop. Armada Sakujo. Every... Sakujo, Sakujo, Sakujo. Every day of the week. Correct. Oh, what? Whoa, no! Lucky's late! He's late! Back here? No backer from s -Fan. All right, they're both back. They're Last both back. stock, game one, and this is, again, a best two out of three. What do you think about Fox that goes in two out of threes? This is super intense. It is. It is super intense. I uh, Ooh. I don't know. I. Oh my God! That forward smash was so smart. Can he even make it back? Wow. No. That forward smash had functioned almost like an anti-air. Lucky coming down with a full jump nair, and forward smash just totally beat it. You saw it, right? I did see it. You saw it. Did you see the look on Lucky's face when he got hit by the forward before, smash? As the game, yeah, and as the game ended, before it zoomed in on an S fat, he had this, he had this look like. God damn. <laughs> that <laughs> <He's laughs> yeah, like, like cool. Like, uh, cool. <laughs> that was, uh, after cool. playing so amazing. Super cool, yeah. Well, yeah that's, super cool. I was definitely up for three minutes and then just got cheesed. Is what he's thinking. I'm not saying Oh, okay, lucky, yeah, you gotta hit that. You gotta hit that these days. At that time he timed it correctly. Yep. Basically the way that setup works is you know you see Fox with a fire around him as he's preparing to launch with the upbeat. And there's a 10 frame period, a frame being 1 16th of a second, before he blasts off that those that, that, that fire animation doesn't have a hitbox. So you can just hit him with whatever you want. And that's what a lot of foxes sneak in the shine spike. We call the Armada Shine. Armada Shine. Because he was the first fox to do it consistently. Alright, oh, the, the clean. Oh my god, S-Fat just 
kicking it old school with these uh, raw up smashes. What is Lucky got here? Okay. Single hit up air. Single hit up air, yeah. I think. He didn't really turn it into anything. I don't know if he was even doing it on purpose. Sometimes uh, these SoCal players, they do swag stuff like that. Yeah. Oh my god. And that's time this is a tech. All right. Lucky again with the one stop lead. Hey, uh, how hard is it to hit that tech? Is that a tech that you're expecting God, to hit? It feels pretty hard. I feel like I was actually playing a friendly with uh, Fiction today, and I, uh, I did that shine room, and he and he goes, "I swear to God, I tech that," and I was like, "Yes, I know that feeling. I, know. I always feel like I, I press the L button, but the tech doesn't come out for some reason. I don't really get it." Oh, um, so yeah, right, well, I don't know. Me neither. I never do it, but it seems like people expect you to do it. Eh. Anyway, Lucky again with a pretty oh solid lead, but. But, oh, oh, he made it back! S -Fat. A, yeah, it was a great read by SFAT, but couldn't get to the ledge fast enough. Which is weird. I, I feel like you can just very easily get to the ledge. I feel like he um, I feel like he thought Lucky was so far away that it didn't really matter if he was fast enough, and then he realized he was yeah. wrong. He recovered onto the stage. Probably you just want to 4B towards the ledge, right? Yeah, 4B towards the ledge. Even up B towards the ledge is yeah. fine. All right, SFAT nearing into the corner. Lucky smartly rolls out. Now it's Lucky's opportunity for Edgar. Yeah, it was good back air pressure, but... A push? Oh, oh, just barely God. missed. That would have been the stock. Yeah, you know, SFAT with no jump at the time. But all right. Oh, we can, that's a weak hit. No, nice. oh, that was that was sick. Yeah, that was like Mewtwo King. Yeah. yeah. So he yeah he covered almost every angle with the back air and then uh, hit SFAT with a smash on his way down. It's almost like you you let them go above you, knowing that they need to land like in this other spot where you set the trap. Let's see if Lucky can close it out, uh, or if SFAT will take this game back. Goes for the ledge and misses his angle. That is not great. Yeah, I think S. So here we are, mirror image of the last game. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and S. Fat with the opening now. He misses the up air. That could have been big. Yeah. Yeah, up air launcher. Gonna do tons of damage. And that's kind of what I was saying about like when the fox gets on the platform. That's when the, the punish game gets a little harder to be, you know, perfect with. Big uh -oh. grab for S. Fat. Does he yeah, yeah. Oh my God, he, he gets the roll. Lucky literally did like the best combo DI. He did the DI that you're hoping for. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, what a oh, sick, lucky. sick sequence. Up smash. But living, I think. Yeah, living. Every other stage, that'll KO, but not Dreamland. Uh oh, but he gets the grab up. S Fat not dead? One more time. Maybe back here, I don't know. Oh, he's living. Oh my god, he just. That'll do it. Oh my god. And now I think. Look at Joey smiling. <laughs> what a nut. What a madman! And that was a smile that, that physically looked a lot like the smile he gave after game one, but I think the meaning behind the smile was completely different. It's like, yeah, I'm an idiot, but yeah. <laughs> maybe I'll win anyway. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. I think that's what he's thinking. Yeah, I think <laughs> you gotta love you gotta love Lucky. You do. He's really, the, really he's awesome the guy. He's yeah. just like you know, he's lucky. Except for that one time, he was a real jerk to us on our show, but that didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. he he wasn't very nice. Yeah, it, <laughs> actually, yeah, I take it back. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> The he's one of those guy. guys Let's where go, if he's Matt. winning, he's the worst. Oh, yeah, no, and Mango. in any other situation, he's the, he's the man. Yeah, Mango once, actually, Mango did a... Oh, uh, switch, to, switch to regular Fox. What does this mean, Toe? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's not with no jump. No side B. Yeah, I was going to say something funny, but I'm actually just going to complicate the match. <laughs> I actually feel super bad that I didn't let you say because I'm very interested. Nah. Nah. All right, jab reset. Why, why do people, do you tell me about the double jab? So, this is the so yeah, you do the first better. jab. As you do the first jab, they keep sliding. For whatever reason, I don't know, Kadano, please explain it to me on Twitter or Practical Tasks. Thanks, Kadano. You do double jab, the second jab locks into place. They actually stop sliding. I don't know why. Okay. So it's easier to follow up so after if you, the second right, jab. If, they, like, if you do the first jab and they're by the ledge, is he going to even up the stock count right here? No side B. The backer didn't come out. What was that? Yeah, I don't know. That wasn't even like a tricky angle. That was a normal angle. Was that a was normal. not a tween. <laughs> that was not an Arduino angle. Not, not, not a tween, dude. <laughs> oh, where's the Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. second and only. Yep. Nice and gentle. Um, I don't remember. Oh, no, yeah. When you when you jab reset them right by the corner, if you do the single jab, sometimes they just grab the ledge to keep flying. Double jab, they get stuck right they get there. Stuck. All right, so. I'll throw up tilt. I think he still has his jump. Oh my doesn't god, matter. but it doesn't matter. That was like the perfect percent. Yeah. For him to die off the top. Fox and didn't now, even, he didn't even make the noise. You know where he goes like, yeah. oh, I'm dying. Yeah. It was just a normal I got hit sound. Right, but then he died. Melee is such a wonderful game that it has different sounds based on like, you know, how what hard percent you get they're hit. At, yeah. When they get hit super hard, it usually sounds pretty painful. S Fed has been down a stock. Yeah, yeah he's single Yes, game. he has. By the way, BT Dubs. He's gotta outspace that get up attack, man. Lucky just, with a big and Lucky kind of blows it there. He could have 
carried that combo on. Espada, I think, has just been a little bit cleaner in like the edge guard, the edge guard situations. Right. Uh, oh, lucky, big definitely. Back of lucky. No, Lucky, yeah. what are you? Oh my like god, exactly, oh, he's back! Exactly like that. Like, he's just been missing angles. He's been making, like, really silly mistakes, but, you know, when he's on stage, he's been playing really well. Now he's got a two stock lead. This is definitely still doable for Esbad, but definitely feeling the pressure. Yeah. He knows that he's been, like, oh. getting beaten by Lucky uh, on stage. Esbad so. taunt. Esbad, I, I, I just have to throw. You that know, was one of his better taunts, by the way. That was one of his better. Eh, but see what's happening now? Taunt to get body. Esbad has this. <laughs> He has this long history of taunting when he tries to start making a comeback, but then he just loses. And he always yeah, looks like a big doofus it's not for good. Him. Oh, he gets hit by that up tilt. Oh, and that up tilt is such a can opener. I almost feel like the taunt woke Lucky up. Like, Lucky's like, all right, well, this is my chance now. You did a stupid S Fat taunt. <laughs> oh, no. Is yeah, that it? That's, that's it. it. And that's, wow. a, that's a taunt. Lucky, Lucky a little, a little, uh, coming back from a loser's bracket. He had